Hi guys and welcome to Unity Tutorial developed using starter assets and other many assets from uh, the asset store. So let me show you guys how this works. Right there that's one of the component from the or the amateur from the starter asset. If you hold on to the shift key and still press on to your arrow key you see the amateur runs. Okay, just hold down to the shift key. There. Well, this tutorial is based on landscape and using all of the assets from, uh, from the asset store. So what I am going to do now is I'm going to take you guys straight into Unity Development Environment and we put one of these together. Okay, guys, let's start a new project. Uh, first of all, you guys will have to import the following assets abandoned building the sky series the realistic nine that is uh, trees then old building and uh, grass flower and finally the starter asset you need all of those if you have never downloaded any of these assets before all you need to do is you go straight to window select package manager let's take example from the starter asset the starter asset is right here there okay if you cannot find it straight away just the way that i found it you can always go to in project or search for it right here just type in starter asset okay and because i already have an account and i've already downloaded it before that is it right there okay it's about 69.72 megabyte so that's one of the assets that I intend to use right here it's already downloaded the other one is the grass flower the grass flower is right up here let me show it to you guys there we go then I also have the abandoned building there then now uh, I think I have a uh, old building something like that right there okay you need those there and we also need the skybox series the free one there so you download all of those so let me show you guys the asset again there they are you need them all right now those are the assets already that I've downloaded so I'm going to double click on the one that says grass flowers double click on that and make sure it is open and in here you see where we have demo click on the demo and the one I need is this one with the unity icon so I'm going to double, double click on that and there we go so let's click on run and see how that's going to work out right there that is the terrain on this predefined terrain there are some grasses on board already okay so that makes life easy and as you can see if you notice the grass are, there's a wind also attached to this package so you can see the grass in the wind in the environment and right to the old rising there you guys can see the hills okay or the landscape all right so I'm gonna end that so the next thing I want to do now is I'm going to go straight into starter assets. Double click on the starter asset. And we need third person. Double click on third person. And inside the third person, I need this very prefab. Double click on the prefab. So right here, I'm going to grab hold of the player amateur and just dump the player amateur somewhere here there we go it's kind of like very close to my camera there that's a player amateur let's see let's run it and see how that's going to work so click on run there we go now let's just click on play i'm going to press the arrow there we go there goes the amateur okay as you can see the amateur is walking away from the camera just going straight into the horizon but we would like the camera to follow the amateur so i'm going to end it let's end that 
as you can see that's the folder for the amateur if we come right here in this in the inspector we need what is known as cinema machine okay the cinema machine is not attached to the amateur so with the cinema machine what will happen is once it's attached you will see the camera actually follow this mannequin to wherever it goes or the amateur so let's go into tools we need to reset the whole system click on tools and here you see where it says starter asset what we need is this one in the middle reset third person controller amateur there let's click on it right away you can see the cinema machine with a camera attached to it and if I there click on the amateur again we should be able to see the cinema machine then there we go that is my cinema machine in there and if you want to ch change the clamping you can always change it right there but I'm gonna leave it leave the default the way it is so let's run it and see what's gonna happen now click on the run there we go guys so I'm gonna press the top arrow look at that now the camera is actually following the mannequin or the amateur whatever you want to call it so that's fine and if you hold down the shift and press the arrow you see it's run okay so end that now the next thing I want to do is I'm gonna select the terrain why the terrain is selected let's come to the properties of the terrain here we want paint tree I want to add some trees to it Just click on that okay and let's come right here you see the edit tree click on the edit tree click on add tree and here where it says tree prefab click on that small icon in there and this dialog that pops up let's select asset and in here we should be able to see the different trees that I have on the system and this tree that I'm looking for is right here there we go I'm gonna grab hold of this very one there and click on add there we go and now that is the tree so I'm not just gonna paint the tree in there I'm gonna click on mass place tree the maximum that you can mass place is 10,000 so I'm going to reduce that to about let's go for 2,000 here yeah, that's fine you can always keep existing tree but I don't have any existing tree on board so I'm going to just say place trees click on that there we go the trees are in place look at that so let's run it and see click on run there guys that's how it's looking so let's move around there we go all right the next thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to add some buildings to it so end that and go back to my project tab and let's look for old buildings let's see double click on the prefab as an old building there drag it just dump it right there I'm going to push it down a little bit to make sure it's settled on the the rain there and let's change the size to about four by four by four there so we can always copy this okay I want to come in here to the gizmo just right click top view and so I can know where there's enough room so that is the building right click on it and click on duplicate and just drag there we go and I'm gonna copy more select both trees uh, both buildings right click duplicate and I'm gonna drag it here anywhere there's room I just drag it in there there are some other buildings in there let's go for the abandoned building double click on the prefab abandon and that's it that's the abandoned building there let's see if we can add this one somewhere hey, there's some room there we'll grab that and just dump it right here okay that's the abandoned building I'm gonna make that about five by five by five 
I think that might be too big. All right then, we we'll go for four by four by four as well. There, push it by a little bit. Okay, that's the abandoned building. We can see copy that very abandoned building and just maybe paste it to where we have enough room. Okay then, so let's go for let's create a duplicate and just drag it somewhere here. There we go. Create another duplicate. And I'm gonna drag that maybe here there make that about three by three by three and this one as well three 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 there we go so let's let me go back to my free free view run click on run and let's see how that's gonna look like there we go guys look at that okay and that is how you create your own landscapes scene using the various assets so the next thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to exit out and I want to now change the the background the skybox I mean let's change about the skybox so let's come right in here the skybox that is already downloaded the asset that is it sky series freebie so let's come right in here because it's a bright day so i'm just going to grab hold of any of the freebie that is kind of like bright and beautiful uh maybe we should set to for something like this grab that just dump it right there there that is it right so i'm going to run that and see how that looks like click on run it's coming up there we go guys like look at that that is very very beautiful scene look at that guys I love the way the whole environment looks like so with that guys I'm gonna call it the end of this tutorial I suppose you guys enjoy it and please do subscribe to this my second channel and I'll see you guys shortly you all have a nice day and bye for now